Eric here with BoatAC.net. Here we go. Frequently asked questions. How to prime my unit? Or why is my unit coming unprimed? It could, could be a combination of a bunch of different things. Here in this instance, BoatAC.net, we did the complete install from scratch. Super clean. So you got pump, strainer, and then through the hole, all below the waterline. Very kind of parallel. And then it pumps... You know, water comes into the pump, it fills this whole system, and the water line's probably about here. So this whole thing's full of water. A lot of times what happens is the pumps are too high, and then there's not any water in the pump to prime them. So that's what we've got to, when we talk about priming, all we're doing is filling this pump with water. If there's an air pocket within the strainer basket and the pump, and then the pump's got a, got a lift of head pressure about 17 feet. And we're only going two feet, you know, it's just a really short distance. Um, so this, this system would never have to be reprimed. I do recommend when you go out sailing because water is squishing around, the boat's tacking, to always shut, shut your through hole off. This way here, water will definitely stay from the through hole into your strainer to the pump. And there's no way it could swish around and gravity fed out if you were tacking hard or anything like that. And um, in reference to priming, let's just say you had to prime because the pump is way too high. Um, for instance, say if the strainer basket's way down in that hole, and then that's got to go all the way up to the pump, you could create an air pocket within the pump here. Uh, so that's that's why, you know, if your pump is too high, say up in here, right about the water line or close to it, that's why you would have to, you know, reprime the pump every single time you use the unit, which is kind of a pain to do when you're just trying to get the thing turned on. So, but if you do have to prime a unit, we can show on a different vessel too. That's maybe easier to understand. So this is the line that wraps all the way around to the top of the pump. You could take this line off the easiest way to take it off is right here at the unit. It's two hose clamps. It'll slide right off. It's not a barbed fitting there. The rest of this is all barbed fittings. So just slide it off, turn it upright, put a funnel in there and put a quart of water in. Then water will go down and fill this hose to at least give you an adequate amount of water, a bit of water above the pump. So say water, you know, it'll fill this up and allow the pump to pump. 